Mine's so we good. I'm vaccinated. You vaccinated? Uh, no, nah, I'll wait for you to turn to a zombie first. Okay, no problem. Respect that. So what do you want to see first? What's wrong? You want me to give you the story? Let's hear it. All right, so a family of a friend came by because I was getting hot air. Okay. He said it might be gas that needed. When he okay. came, put the gauges, it read like 50, 60. Okay. Um, he added fuel, whatever it's called. Fridge. Okay. It was still um, throwing hot air. So we went upstairs. He pulled off the panel and we saw the line was freezing. Okay. He assumed. Uh, Filters clean? My, the big one, the 20 by 31. Yeah, I changed it. Oh, it's clean. Okay. Um, he assumed. The blower was, works? Yes. Okay. Uh, he assumed it was the expansion valve that's what it's called okay there's an expansion valve yeah because yeah, he said it wasn't passing through so he changed that okay he changed the filter in the back it was outside the unit filter dryer it was working well after that for like two days he loaded it up with like 105 that's all it took uh the pressure was like almost 400 i don't understand why how hot was it inside it was hot it was like 80. okay um, after two days it rained, I turned it on the third day and all the gas was gone. He came back, checked it, it was gone, and I told him, see you later, let's call the real people. <laughs> and that's where you're here. And now we're here. And how long ago, how long ago was this? Last week, the 28th he came. Okay. Um, all right, show me the outdoor unit. Let's go. Going this way? Yeah. Okay. How old is this one? Uh, I bought this house 2017. The construction. Okay, there. so four years old. I called Reem. Uh, Reem. I only have five. Relax, it's a Reem. Yeah. Okay. But I heard it's cheap. It's inexpensive equipment. They would tell me you know, like, like, like this thing. Inexpensive yeah. Pioneer. I threw that in the basement. Why the lock? What? Oh, you need. Because if I have kids, you know, I'm not uh, safety. Okay, guy, okay. You know, I don't want to get okay. sued, you know? All right. So. There's your condenser. He changed that. Yeah, he changed that. So I don't know if he did a great job or not. And he's saying right now, oh, he left this on there, huh? And right now there's no charge in it at all? Zero. And he loaded it with six pounds. Very little. Okay. So, yeah, 11, 2016. Okay. Have we been here before? No. No, first time. How'd you hear about us? Uh, Google. Read your reviews. I love Google. Hopefully, you'll give me one too. Are you the owner? I'm one. Yes, I'm one of the owners. You know why I called you? Why? Because I like that you responded back to the bad reviews. All right. Let's take this stuff off. No wonder. When we get out of your way, you work better alone. No, I'm good. The company. No, I don't mind the company. If you could wager, where do you think? The leak is. I don't trust the guy that came 100. percent And when he came, there was 60. I'm kind of, I'm not too dumb. Okay. So when he, came, I hope it's not this thing right here. I, I could see. You know that. what? That this was left on there. I guess he left it on there. Oh, that's not part of it. No, no, no. It's extra. It was on the the liquid, uh, the suction side, which so is the low didn't side. Leave it. That was there since we came. Ah. Since I moved. Okay. Because I remember that. So if you can guess, where would it be? Not By the way, I make little educational videos for my guys. Now that you show me that, yeah, I would say that from that piece. Okay, so you got money on that? I would, I would like to agree with you. I really would. I would say that, or this, the or, the piece, or the filter or the expansion bar, because it wasn't leaking before. It was low, and I read this is not supposed to leak once you have. They're, this is it's a sealed system, yeah. so the only reason why it would go away unless someone took it out, yeah. or it's leaking out. There's a leak in the system. But if, if you were to leak. if you were to Google Ream uh, Central Air Conditioning Leaks, yeah, you you probably still find them. But in the early 2010s, like the first part of 2010, okay. like the whole decade, massive class action lawsuits. Really, evaporated coil leaks. I think I was seeing that. Yes, I saw and that, that ended around and 2000. They changed the yeah, yeah they changed, all all the manufacturers changed the evaporated coils. That he was they were like, all leaking. Brand yeah, new was yeah. out of the box. Like yeah, brand yeah. new system. The next morning. That's the Mike, my system's not cool. Right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's called yeah. an A-coil, yeah, yeah, evaporator coil. Yeah, I read about that. All right, let's hook up some gauges here and see what we got. Let's lower this a little bit. Right around 300 PSI. Right there. Let's close this up. Let's open up this. And make sure it doesn't tip over. Got that missile. 
Let's open up this one, open up this one, and open up this. Let's fill the system up with some pressure. And let's just quickly see if we hear anything yet. Okay. So let's add the rest. Let's give them about 300 PSI. You came on Friday, you came back. So there are the pressures there. They need to equalize. In the interim, how do you get to your attic? Pull downstairs? Yeah. Excellent. Is there a floor? Second floor. Second floor. Yeah, yes, there is. Yeah. All right, let's go see. All right, after a minute and 12 seconds, nothing, not even 0.1. I'm really leaning towards this T. I'm really leaning towards this T. Especially since it was hand tight and there's no washer there. And this was on the liquid, sorry, the suction side service port right there. And I took it off by hand. Maybe. But this was there to begin with, you said, right? Before your friend got here, this was already there on. on. He didn't add this. No. Why didn't he take it off? Maybe because he thought he longed there? Do you need to take that off to add the refrigerant or something? No. No, right? No. It was it's a cool way. little thing. You know, I, I just don't like them because there's no O-rings inside of them. So you really got to make it nice and super tight in order to work. But normally when I see this on a on a outdoor unit, it's usually hooked up to like a pressure a pressure switch where it senses the refrigerant pressure and it can turn the fan on or off or compressor on and off mm. to try to duplicate, you know, certain conditions. Okay. So let's say, for example, uh, again, just far fetched. Let's say you had uh, this system that you needed to run in the winter. You know, you can hook this up to a pressure switch and it'll turn either the fan or the compressor off okay. when pressures reach a certain level. Okay. Instead of freezing up, yeah. it'll maybe it'll turn the compressor off, allowing it not to, not to, uh, to um, freeze up, because in the winter it would. Yeah. You know, if you run the air conditioning in 40 degrees weather outside or 30 degree weather, it'll, say it'll work, but it'll start to freeze up because the temperature is so low, the, air, the ambient temperature is so low. But almost three minutes, zero PSI. Maybe he loosened it more when he came back. I don't back. know. But we're gonna let this sit for at least fifteen more fifteen minutes, yeah, yeah, no. and then we'll do the whole vacuum process, no which we'll see. I just I just, just like to know it. like where where did it go? Me too. You know, when which and it's, it, this is rare. You go to a house like this, for example, and you have oh I forgot something. What'd you forget? So you know how you measure the return air? Yes. With the out. Yeah, supply return air. He said it's supposed to be at 20. Well, you like minimum 15 degree difference, you know, delta T. Well, I don't know what that means, but... Well, if let's it was say... 18. Okay, let's say the, the return air is, hypothetically speaking, 100. Okay. And it's blowing out out of the registers, the diffusers, you know, the things on yeah, the ceiling. Yeah. People call them registers, they're actually diffusers. Yeah. But let's say it's blowing out at, say, 20, at, say, uh, 80. Yeah. So you have 20 degree delta T there. That's fine. Right? That's perfect. I like to see 15, which... Oh, so uh, we were showing 18. It's perfect, he wanted, but... He wanted 20. I, again, it, it's based on the equipment, you know, and, and variables and, and conditions. You know, if you like, have... Like, when, when, when it, if this passes and there's no leak here, yeah. right, and we vacuum the system down, which will take some time, and then yeah. we, re, we charge the system up, you're going to see, like, if this need, thing needs a certain degree of cooling, yeah. we're going to have that because I have everything digital. Okay. So... We'll not, see. Not analog, where you're guessing and measuring. That's right. Well, yeah. I'm not saying guessing, but you, you, have to, you have to, listen. Nothing wrong with those analog gauges, but you also have to take measurements and you have to calculate no, what. I, I like digital. I love digital too. But when he came out here, he wanted to add more. Point one, at almost in five minutes, and it started not. Well, while I'm waiting for this pressure test to, uh, you know, get you know get going, I'm nine minutes into it still 0.1 PSI out of almost 10 minutes. And he's talking about his ductless systems having leaks, his problems, and he shows me this. All that black stuff, that's refrigeration oil. You know, attracting the dirt, but see it's staining the guy's paving stones. So I got this by Ellie Tech. So Ellie Tech is this company, I think they're a Chinese based. And I was using yesterday, and I was using my blower to clean out Someone's condenser and I got a bunch of crap in there. But this is an electronic leak detector. All right. And they actually emailed me the other day or yesterday. It's like, hey, you know, um, we appreciate you 
because they sent this to me. Mm-hmm. But it's like a paid promotion. Okay. So you gotta send me the stuff and pay me, and then I'll I'll review your products and I'll put links and things like that. But they paid me for the first product they sent, but they didn't pay me for this one. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna use it, but I'm not gonna actively promote it and give you links right. like, oh, it's show, show me the money, like, exactly. pay me. Exactly. Isn't that free? So this thing is um, called the IR200. It's a refrigerant leak detector. It has a nice color display right here. And we're gonna stick this over there and see what happens. We may have to take this cover off. I have a screwdriver. I just wanna see if we catch anything right away. Let me get a screwdriver and take this thing off. All right, he's getting a screwdriver. I thought my tool bag was there. It's actually up there in the attic. I took the access panel off the ream air handler. And 12 minutes into it, 0.2 PSI, you know, he's, t- he's telling me that, that the system leaked out six pounds in two days. And at this leak rate, not possible, especially with 350 PSI in there. Well, someone forgot to put the cap on. And it's been like that for a while because it's already discolored. So at installation, they didn't do that. And either they didn't clean up after themselves or this leaks here. And let me get the soapy water first. Actually, let's try this. I'm curious. Let's see. Let's see if this bad boy works by Ellie Tech. Got to put it there and we'll hear it start to beep like crazy. This works still? No, I don't want to try it. Just make sure it works. If there was no refrigerant left in it, obviously we're not going to see anything. the cap there. Oh, hold on. Let's go back to that. Let me clean this off a little bit. All right, now we're going to get the soapy water. That. Now we're gonna get the soapy water. All right, for verifying why leaks physically, I use Big Blue. Big Blue is a micro leak detector. It's ultra sensitive formula, and it gives you long lasting bubbles. This is the 32 ounce container. I love it. And what's amazing about this stuff, it's designed by a service tech for a service tech. It's made by Refrigeration Technologies. It's a great company. They make a lot of cool stuff. And John right there, I believe I've emailed him. Very nice guy. And he's actually the one that endorsed this product when I look at those Navian leaks. All right, let's take a look at this, by the way. We're almost 17 minutes into it and it went up to 0.2, but now it dropped back down to 0.1. And like I said, I like to being effective and efficient with my time. He was concerned about the staining there. And I said, nah, that's not normal, bro. And then when I saw all that residue and dirt there, I knew that was a problem. So let's just get this in there. And let's see if Mr. Ellie Tech was right. Let's see, may need to get in there a little bit better. So not what I was expecting. All right, we know it went off there, but maybe it's inside. Maybe, but all this oil residue doesn't lie. All right, let's try that again with the Ellie Tech. Well, that's interesting. Then it went to point three. Actually, that's positive point three. Oh, because it don't have the negative. It doesn't have the negative anymore. So if anything, you know, things are, you know, the temperature, you know, temperature equals pressure. So the hotter, and not by much, but we're up point three now. There's no leak. All right, got the vacuum pump set up. Testo 557S. I don't have my Eco Tools uh, blue evacuation hoses. 
I only put them on the truck when I do uh, an install or a replacement. But uh, let this run. Let, let this run. We're not going to see anything until um, we get the 1500 microns. So stay tuned. All right. I just realized I never finished making the video. <laughs> can you believe that? Gigi, can you believe that? We didn't finish making the video. Looking for a squirrel? Oh, shit. Let me stop messing with her. Um, vacuum down to around 300 microns. Held. Didn't go above 450. Charge the system up with 7.5 pounds of R410A. And we were good to go. The mysterious leak, in my opinion, was that T they left on the suction side. And that's the only thing that makes sense. The only thing that makes sense. Um, I don't know. Just wanted to share this one with you because... Sometimes there isn't a leak. Well, there is, well, there is a leak, but that was a foolish and careless mistake completely. All right, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Thank you, be well, God bless. Make sure you thumbs up.